No, I don't think it is lost. I, no, I think, first of all, I don't even think Biden was smart in the way that, you know, he first of all decided he just was going to do Trump reversals, whether it, mm -hmm. it, just in the name, I think mm -hmm. that was a terrible mistake. But if he was going to do it, so let's say I, Paris Climate Agreement is a farce. It hurt America and it helped China. But if he believed he needed to get back in it, wouldn't you, before you get back in it, go to China and India and say, I'll get back in it only when they do their mm -hmm. part? If you're going to get back in the Human Rights Council, wouldn't you say, I'll only get back in the Human Rights Council when you stop having abusers on the – like he didn't leverage anything. Mm -hmm. If you're going to get back in the Iran deal, wouldn't you make them prove, you know, that they mm -hmm. were going to stop – he just reversed everything, including the border, which Trump had a terrible board. Trump fixed it. He broke it. But the part that he can't erase, and it's, it's really a point of pride, I think, is the Abraham Accords. Because this was an amazing thing. Many presidents before Trump had said that the only way to get peace in the Middle East mm -hmm. was through the Palestinians. Mm -hmm. The president went to his first foreign policy speech was to the Arab summit. And he said, I want us to unite against terrorism, meaning translation, I want us to unite against Iran. He got the attention of the Arab countries. Then he started to acknowledge truce. Jerusalem is the capital of Israel. We're gonna have Israel's back. This is what Israel can do for you. And I had, it's interesting, I had a meeting. I and the British ambassador had a meeting with the Saudi and the Emirati ambassador. They were complaining, you know, why doesn't anybody call out the Houthis for the terrorist organization that they are? Why are they always hitting us? And I stopped them and I said, you know, I could make the same case for Hamas and Israel. Mm. But yet you say this about you. We went on with the meeting. They pulled me aside afterwards and they said, we know you're right. And I said, why do you hit Israel the way you do? And the Emirati said, we do it because we have to for our constituencies. And I said, at some point, you're going to have to have the courage to tell your constituencies the truth. You fast forward to the Abraham Accords. That was the Emiratis having mm. the courage to tell their constituencies the truth. And what's happened wow. since then is even though Biden is has associated with the Palestinians, Emiratis and Israelis still flying into each other's countries, mm -hmm. still doing trade because the Arab countries now realize they need Israel.